Hello, <clears throat> and this is Anna in Sweden. <laughs> I have to take a breath uh, when I say Anna because I was almost saying Eva, but after Jerusalem, after I come back from Jerusalem, uh, do I want to call me Anna? And and that is my first name, so it's not a lie. There is was only my parents that make Eva be my first name, but in the paper, in the church, it's my first name Anna. And. Uh, I was born uh, Nilsson, and uh, when my ancestor came to Canada and United States, uh, they uh, uh, make uh, their last name be their sure name to be Nelson instead of Nilsson because it was more English spelled uh, and said so many of of people that have the name Nelson it's not from they are of course uh, from England but they can also be from Sweden and um, today is it uh, the Easter day but I don't celebrate Easter uh, as I have found out that I am Jewish and uh, and uh, because I know I am Jewish then I don't celebrate Easter or Passover or anything even if I, I am Jewish because uh, I am not into religion uh, I am a free person so, uh, but it is Easter today, and uh, I think uh, the kids are uh, coming to my door and knocking on the door and want to, to get some candies. Uh, but I have uh, been listening to music instead today, so I. I didn't hear them, but I, I think they were on my door. Uh, it is, um, I want to tell you about yesterday. Uh, sometimes it happened that uh, I only feel like uh, hearing in my brain that I should uh, uh, go to another channel on my television and watch something there. And I did that yesterday. It's a channel that I I very seldom watch. Uh, but I felt I must go there. And it was about Ireland. And um, there, my, I have ancestors in Ireland. But, but most of them is from far, far away in time. And it is those Vikings that come to Ireland. And uh, uh, yesterday it was about a man that I have not heard about. Uh, it's, I thought his name was Columbus, but he's Colomb. Uh, it's a, uh, I think he's a rabbi, uh, but he was in the Roman Catholic Church, and uh, I watched a program, not about him, but it was a group of people that did the pilgrims walk on in Ireland. Um, it, uh, 
no i don't really remember the name but it's uh, was from the, those uh do dollar ray like that um there my young sister was born that i have in my family tree and uh, they come as viking from from scandinavia and then uh, they had some parts of england and they were up uh, in the north of england in scotland ireland and wales most but they also married uh, in in the royals uh, the english royals and uh, ireland and scotland and this because they were king those viking was kings that come to england and they they got some um, a part of england and uh, they they fight and win the war up in scotland and ireland and uh, so it was interesting also first that they were walking and i could see the landscape and uh, it was very nice landscape and uh, and then it was this name and i check him up if i had had him in my family tree and he was because he was a viking king so uh, it it come more and more uh, knowledge about uh, where i come from and um and it was this what they were saying 2016 in in jerusalem when i was in that exhibition museum uh, and uh, saw this a tree with all the people inside and it was not that they were related to each other it was only people that we knew that was famous and then it come uh, my face in the tree and and those other that was in this group i think we were i think we were only three or four people and uh, and when my face come in the tree it was a voice was saying and i don't know if it was from the 3d screen or if it was something in the spirit that told me that uh, that we were connected all of us is connected in one way or another way it's uh, it was saying and uh, when they the voice was saying that that make me understand that i should do my dna even if i not once had thinking to to do my dna i was not interested to do my dna but as as i heard it 2016 in jerusalem i have to obey it what they were saying to me and uh, and then i found out that i am like they say in in the family tree that we are connected in one way or another and that is for those that have historical people in their family tree that is what you can see 
if you do the, your DNA. Uh, because uh, here in Sweden was it about 1600 they started to to write names those that was born or those that died and those that was baptized they started in in 1600 in the mid, middle of 1600 uh, uh, before that uh, if you were not a uh, a famous person, a historical person. No one knew you. It was uh, it was order from the king to, to write down people after uh, sixteen hundred fifty about. So before that, you don't know where you what is in your family tree. A long way back but in my family tree there there is historical people it was it was uh, royals and it was famous in other way there was many it was many that was a church leader in in all kind of of uh, religions and there were, and I have very much uh, people that ancestor that was in the military. Uh, so I, I I come to know me more and more. I understood why why I started in the military. It's not common in Sweden to be in the military, but I. I joined the, the Swedish army in the navy, in not in the navy, <laughs> air force. Uh, I didn't go up in the airplane, but I, I make the maps for, for the flight, where people were in the map, and I. I was doing the short way radio, ham radio, uh, the only one that did it, uh, and so I, I, I was in the staff, staff, and uh, not out in the field and fighting, but I learned how to, to shoot with those. Uh, Eco, Eco 14, Eco, A, A, K, 4 was it, that was the weapon I shoot with, because I was in, in the, in the highest grade and I was surgeon also was my title. Um, so all these th things is from from my uh, way back my ancestors and uh, and they have uh, make me do so much things in the life because they wanted me to be a part of their what they what they did when they live here on earth and I don't know so much about Easter I don't do the Easter anymore I have done it but it's about three four years I stop to do it and I don't celebrate Christmas either I am not in the religions in religions or traditions I am only me and God is one uh, and as soon as I was on my way to to talk to you what I wanted to do 
uh, today when I recording, I was touched of a spirit there. As soon as I had it in my brain, thinking I should say it, I was touched of, of a hand from a spirit. Because I, I was thinking to talk about Jesus and uh, this day, Easter day. Uh, it was when he, he uh, come back from death. He had been away for three days. Uh, in, uh, and uh, I have talked about it, that he was in, in uh, the, the grave, in the hell. Uh, because he had a, a room, a throne in hell. Uh, he have in heaven and he have in hell uh, Jesus and uh, that uh, throne in hell he have a room there for to go there to take those people that was very close to understand uh, garden, uh, what's going on in, in afterlife, but never make it there, so that it was their life to to understand uh, the God and uh, what is about the afterlife. The, uh, they didn't make it, but they were good people, and. Uh, Jesus is there. He can go from, he can go in heaven and he can go to hell. He can go. That's, uh, he have the keys to hell and heaven. And he walk between these places. And uh, in hell he, he, he is there for to help those people that that didn't make it that was very close to make it to understand the secret the mystery of of this what this in afterlife but they were were not okay in that way that they understood and changed their life in that way to, when they understood the truth of, of what's going on in afterlife and uh, he's there to help them and he take them with him to heaven that's what I, he did these three days he was he was not uh, in heaven and he was not in like in the air he was in inside hell and help people come to heaven and um, so he have a throne there and I have talked about it when I saw it it uh, you know I talk about this seven tables and there was scroll uh, on the table and uh, I could open it and and it was like a rebus in the paper that uh, they in heaven wanted me to solve the rebus and I could solve uh, five rebus but the two last one I couldn't but they helped me with it so I pass the test of the seven uh, scroll, scroll, those papers in uh, papyrian papers. And then uh, when I had done that, I, it was a, a wall inside the cave that opened for me on the left side of the cave and uh, 
I saw in into the throne room where Jesus was sitting. Uh, and uh, so he's not the one that sits on the throne in uh, in heaven. He sits on the throne in heaven, but he's not on the highest throne. Because that's God that sits there. And um, so um, and that is what he was doing. And when he come down to his disciple in 40 days and and was with them but he wasn't he was not really him that was it was a spirit that was jesus but they had got that closeness to jesus to could see him as a spirit and um, you know this in the morning uh, when uh, Mary come to the to the throne, uh, the cave where Jesus should lay there, and the angels was there and told told her that he was not in in the grave because he was risen, and uh, he was not. He was gone from the the grave and he lived. And in that way that the those uh, preacher done doesn't understand so they can't tell you what uh, really truly was going on. It was that Jesus was in the spirit. He was not in his body. Uh, he's showing himself for the disciple as he was look like when he when he walked with them when he was living on earth he did that for them to understand it was he that come back and talk to them he couldn't be someone else he needed to look like himself and if you have follow me in this podcast you know i have told you many times that it's not really they the spirit that coming and i say this is jesus that is coming and then i see jesus as he is painted in pictures that is not the real one but for me to understand that he is coming through and want to talk to me, he need to look like Jesus in the pictures. Because I don't know how he looked like in the spirit way. Uh, he make me understand it. He by... Uh, standing and look out in, in the garden because I have named the garden Jesus garden and he look out so I sh- should understand that is Jesus is that is standing there and sometimes he he look like those pictures and uh, uh, when I was in heaven there I could see him, the true Jesus. And uh, that's what he looked like. And he's, uh, he, he was uh, in his 30s. And he had long, uh, almost blonde hair. And uh, eggshells, clothes on, and a mantle on his shoulder like that and I know he looked like in the spirit but when he's coming here and talking he he, he looked like the pictures of him and um, and I, I um, 
I don't really need to have Jesus coming down here and touch me and tell me what was going on in Easter time in in Jerusalem. I know when uh, when I was the first time in in Jerusalem, I was uh, I was sick that morning when we should go to this uh, garden where the Roman soldiers come and took Jesus and took him to the cross. Um, Gethsemane garden. Uh, When we should go there, the whole tourist group, uh, I was sick in the morning and I told the group leader that I can't go with you to get some in a garden because I'm very sick. I say, I had lots of pain in my stomach that morning. And when I heard the bus leaving the hotel, then I was okay again. And then I went down in the hotel and eat breakfast and and then was I okay. Jesus didn't want me to to visit uh, Gethsemane garden and I have never been there. He don't want me to be there because it was a sad place. He don't want me to see the sadness of his life here on earth. And um, so I have seen uh, some people before I knew this about afterlife, before I knew God, I didn't know anything when they show up. Uh, and uh, it was this, like the family with red hair. They had red hair, or the whole family. And first it, it come the baby of the family. And I didn't know I, I was... I had met a UFO, I have met aliens, but I have not met God or someone from heaven in that way that I understood. Uh, And uh, one evening when I was sitting and watched television, suddenly it come like an angel flying in front of my eyes, in uh, not uh, close to my eyes. It was um, two, three meter away from me. And it looked look at me and was smiling, like a child smiling when they are playing with you. And it, it was a, a little what it's called Sar- seraphine angel uh, it was a, a baby body uh, and but the head the face was like it was an old person it was hard to to know if it was a man or or a woman uh, it looked like a, a neutral face, uh, but it, it was uh, the body was like a three years old that was flying, but I didn't see any wings. It was so, uh, only flying as it was without wings and uh, the face showing that this this person is an uh, adult person, maybe 25, like that, in the face. But the body was like a baby. And I'd be very surprised. I was not scared about it because I had seen 
aliens before. So I was not frightened about it. Even if I was by myself in the in the night. Because my daughter's father was working at night very often. And then I got visits. So it have coming. Uh, one morning uh, was this uh, father figure of this family with red hair. And uh, I didn't know what day, day it was, but I wake up in the morning and uh, it stood a man in my bedroom. And the whole, the room was almost like white shining. It was no dark. It was really clear uh, room. Uh, and he was standing there and smiled at me. And then he, he had like a white cap, white, white hat, hat on his head. And I saw he was red hair and very slim. And he had orange red, uh, this short jacket that uh, those that uh, fighting with bulls in Spain have this short that is just under the the arms short uh, but it was red red orange color and then uh, uh, the long pants was white everything was white uh, it was only the jacket that was red, orange. And uh, he smiled at me. And I was thinking, that because I had uh, a painter that was coming to my home and painting, painting uh, my, uh, my apartment. And I, I was thinking, what's a, what's a way to do it, to only walk in, into the bedroom? I was thinking about this man that was painting, but he didn't look like the man that was painting inside my home. But I was thinking it maybe was another person that was in, in my home. And how could I walk in into my apartment when I was laying there, but when he he never turned around from me, he only disappeared. I never saw the back of him. He only stood there, and then he was disappeared. And then when I wake up, really wake up, I saw. I was awake and when he, he, he was in my room. But when I really come up and look around and look at my telephone or television, I saw that it was Sunday and no one, no one work on Sunday in that way. They painting inside homes. They don't do that on Sundays. So I knew it was a spirit. But I was not frightened about the spirit. Uh, and um, I don't know if a spirit, you heard that I was breathing now. If, if it was someone coming in or out, I don't know uh, yet. <laughs> Maybe I will I will have to drink a little. It is Easter, so I drink soda. Strawberry soda. And I was thinking that 
Jesus should come and uh, explain about he's here he's saying saying he hear what I'm going to say he hear in my mind so he answered me almost when I just finished my thinking and uh, he say I, I do it so great on my own about this with Easter uh, about about that he was not in in a, a human body but he was in a spirit and uh, I have asked before in the past I have asked um, Jesus about this with a hole in a in his hand and uh, if he was in s- a spirit uh, how co- could he have a hole in his hand to show now I do- don't remember because I'm going away from Christianity um, he that come in the c- Thomas, the curious, uh, saw his hole in hand. But that, uh, uh, that I know now, because I I have just talking about it, that he needed to show Thomas those hole in the hand and and um, where they took the sword or they pierce him in the side they showing uh, Thomas this and the answer is what I have talking about in this recording that uh, that when Jesus is coming and and want to talk to me he is standing and look out in the garden because the garden have his name Jesus garden and uh, and then he uh, sometimes he's showing me look like he's a uh, uh, like the they have painting him in pictures uh, for me to understand that is Jesus that is in my home and talk to me and that's what he do with Thomas uh, because Thomas didn't believe that that Jesus had been there and talked to his disciple and uh, he thought uh, that can't be Jesus that is here and then he, Jesus showing him his his hand and this hole not because it was hold there not it was for for Thomas to understand it was Jesus in that way the picture of Jesus did Jesus show him and uh, in that way in other ways to do it they are in the spirit but they showing they can show us how they look like here on earth so that's the answer and uh, and the proof of it it was that jesus come from the walls he didn't open the door and went into the, his disciple like the the man that i told you about in the morning when he come in he only disappeared he not turn around and and walk away and he he i didn't heard any door that open and i didn't heard any door that uh, was uh, 
closed. Uh, he was only disappeared from the room. And that was Jesus did. So I have been in this. So I know that is not a lie. Uh, that it was... Uh, it was a real man standing, walking. A real man was walking uh, through the walls and come into the room. That's uh, not a real man that can do that. It's a spirit. So that's what he... Uh, uh, I will see if... If Jesus want to talk to us about something, because I felt a little stronger um, energy in, in touching me, and uh, he he is saying he is saying to you, Jesus is talking to you that listen, and he say. Uh, very important, maybe the most important word. Uh, he say, "Fear not." Uh, the fear make you doubt. The fear make you walk away from the truth. The the fear make you to not uh, could move forward. To only hold in what uh, what you have learned, what you have learned from your childhood, from your church, that you can't go forward because of fear. You you don't have fear to stand where you are now in uh, in the uh, religions. Uh, in your tradition that is fear that holds you back from knowing the, the total truth you will know it one day of in the afterlife but it's good for you to know the the full truth before you are coming to the afterlife because the that that make you don't you don't know if you're coming to the dark of the life or if you come to the light that you don't know if you you think that you could wait to know the truth until you are in heaven but it can happen that you are coming to hell because that because you're standing still uh, in fear as a frozen person and that is victory for for the devil when you have so much fear so you you don't want to hear more uh, n things that the church your church have not told you this and then you hold into what the church have say and you not go forward to know the afterlife and uh, be sure that you are coming to heaven by get the knowledge the knowledge is so very important and the devil knows that and in that way he put fear in you so you should not come to know the truth. That is, uh, this is what Jesus is telling me that I should tell you. He he wants you to, uh, you know, Jesus say he was the door. But inside that door is it so much more to learn. And he wants you to, op to come and open the door and he let you in to get more knowledge into your life. 
and not not get the knowledge after the that you have passed away from earth then it's too late to could could make you move to the light you may be find yourself in the darkness so it's very important that you continue to learn what the spirits are telling you and this was Jesus that was talking to you uh, through me that's why it be like that you heard I, I ask I didn't know if he come in or out in me but he come in to talk to you so now I have Jesus talk to you it's not me and uh, thank you for listening and truly follow me uh, because I have the truth for you I don't have the truth inside me I get it from heaven it's not uh, me that have the knowledge I get the knowledge from heaven so thank you and God bless you thank you for listening and have a nice Easter Passover or Ramadan or what you may be celebrate something else also birthday <laughs> thank you